Tonight's Good Question sheds some light on a problem that frustrates many people. Those compact fluorescent light bulbs are a very common and easy way for people to go green. But one viewer got in touch with us questioning whether the long-life claims for these bulbs are really as advertised. News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us with the answer, Mark. Well, guys, I, have, for one, have had this exact same problem. I don't know if people at home have, but one viewer did, and he emailed us. During a recent remodel, Harold McAllister replaced most of the light bulbs in his home with the more energy-efficient compact fluorescent bulbs. But after many of them went dark within the first year, he wanted to know, shouldn't these CFLs last a long time? Good question. So, Harold McAllister thought he was doing good. There are six of them. When he replaced most of the bulbs in his home with compact fluorescents. A whole set of them. There are six of them in here. And this is where the first ones failed. But one by one. Some of them in a matter of months. Some of them in a matter of weeks. The bulbs started going dark. It came to seven of them. Out of the first batch of 12 that we bought in December of 2007. He documented every single one that failed early, way early, considering how long these are supposed to last. If it's used under optimum circumstances, it should last approximately 10 times longer. UW physics professor Jim Lawler studies light bulbs and lighting technology. He admits many of the CFLs out there don't last as long as they should. Not all of these compact fluorescents are made with the same quality. And if you buy the very cheapest ones, they may not hold up as well. Lawler says the bulbs can also fail if they're turned on and off too much and in extreme conditions like excessive heat and when they're out in the cold. The cold is a, is a killer if you try to run them when it's too cold. Those bulbs that we bought were on sale. McAllister admits the bulbs he bought may not have been the best quality, but he remains concerned about the price he pays and if in return he'll once again end up in the dark. I support their use, but something has to be done about their reliability. So here's some advice. Professor Lawler says stick with name brands. Brands like Sylvania, GE, and Philips generally are made better and are more reliable. And remember, many of these bulbs are guaranteed to last a certain amount of time. So if you do have trouble, make sure you hold on to your receipt and you can absolutely return them. Well, in... Besides the compact mm -hmm. fluorescent bulbs, there are also LED light bulbs, aren't yeah. there? And we saw that in our, in our uh, story, the, the bluish-looking bulbs. And these are starting to become an industry standard, or will be the industry standard, maybe down the road. But these bulbs that we're seeing are just too expensive for the public right now. The future, we're told, is in organic LED, or OLEDs, as they're commonly called. They're much more efficient to produce and very affordable for consumers. You can watch for those sometime down the road. Not quite sure how long down the road we're talking for this for consumer use, but they're coming. Now, even the CFLs are kind of expensive, so you can see Harold's mm -hmm. issue there. Exactly. Buying, especially if you're buying a lot of them. Uh, retail is like six bucks per yeah, bulb. So. Harold, right. that was a good question. Thank cheap, you Harold. very much. Yep. Good job, Mark. Thanks, right. Mark. Well, getting your good questions answered, by the way, is even easier than before. You can text your good questions right away before you forget them. Send it to 87301. And, of course, you can email Mark Lovacott at goodquestion at channel3000.com.